We are deeply appreciative. This is a special day. We honor the Tuskegee Airmen with the tail number of 990 uh, TA, which is, stands for their squadron, the 99th squadron. And OTA is what we call our original Tuskegee Airmen. Launched in the summer of 2021, the Red Tail Flight Academy, inspired by the legendary Tuskegee Airmen, the famed black pilots who fought the Nazis in World War II, and racism in the U.S. We want to give a new generation of minority people interested in becoming aviators the opportunity to do so. Academy founders Glenn Frazier, Carlos Rodriguez, and Sheldon Richards celebrated the culmination of their dreams to provide a pipeline to aeronautic career possibilities for underrepresented people of color at the grand opening in September. We know this is game altering is game changing and we know that the design that we started just a little bit more than a year ago has turned out into this and airplanes out on the ramp and these incredible incredible students will lead the charge for the next generation of aviators six cadets would be part of the groundbreaking 10-month program with the goal to diversify the sky with young, aspiring aviators of color. A lot of people who look like me, they don't know where to start or they don't know how to start because it is such a financial burden. I literally prayed for something like exactly like this program. This is a state-of-the-art program and I've honestly seen nothing like this before. Being able to fly any day you can is always a great opportunity and you can never take it for granted. A lot of us say if you do what you love, then you never work a day in your life and that's how I feel about aviation. This is a door that we never thought would be open. For people like us, from people that came from our community, this is truly a blessing and this will never be forgotten. We're looking forward to paying it forward. Red Tail Flight Academy uses aviation as an aspirational platform to recruit, develop, expose, and place underrepresented talent with an emphasis on candidates of color in honor of the Tuskegee Year. It means a lot to me that I am able to continue their legacy but it means a lot to me that I'm able to continue to open that door and open it even wider for other, other students who want to be a part of this program or want to be a, a part of the aviation industry. RFA ambassadors, sponsors, and the commitment of our board members is central to our mission to diversify the aviation industry as they champion leadership, mentorship, and the ideals of the original Tuskegee Airmen. In addition to flight instruction, instrument training, multi-engine certification, and drone training. The students were exposed to a variety of special events that Academy sponsors and ambassadors invited them to attend throughout the year. In May of 2022, the first class of Red Tail Flight Academy's cadets graduated, surrounded by family, friends, sponsors, and instructors. Most notably, they were blessed to have two documented original Tuskegee Airmen on hand to deliver words of wisdom and encouragement. Lieutenant Herbert Thorpe, 99, and Lieutenant Colonel Enoch Woodhouse, 95, were two of the few remaining national treasures. I got my wings as a eventually Bombardier Air Navigator and a B-25 pilot. And what they call the three triple threat nine. That's what they, that's what they call it. The experiment was that the establishment set us up to fail. They said, if you want to fly, if you want to be in aviation, go for it. Gave us a rickety field, Moton Airfield. Gave us, the word is insufficient equipment, racist instructors that didn't want you to, to succeed. But you know what? We succeeded. Be 10 times better. Find what's around the corner. Plan, predict, see, act, and then repeat it. Over 25 years now that we have been mentoring young men and women. And to see that in the culmination of this class of six, I was leaning over to Carlos and telling him, um, I, I'm getting goosebumps. When I saw you guys come around the corner, it made sense. What didn't make sense made sense today. What does the future of RFA look like? Beginning this fall, RFA will be expanding the curriculum 
and will offer even more scholarships, broadening its impact with more expertly trained talent and introducing other areas of the aviation industry, like maintenance technology. Every day we're on Zoom calls with different companies, corporations, and one of the things that they said was, we don't all need pilots, we need other people in the aviation industry. We've got to get companies behind that, and, and we, airlines and business aviation operations and commuters, there's, I mean, there's 16,000 business jets, you know, and there's so much opportunity in these, these youth underserved youth, they have no idea that even exists. Just the fact that we're making this available to them just from a communication standpoint is a huge win for, for the underserved community. Our programs rely solely on private donations and the generosity of volunteers. As demands for talent in the aviation industry continue to soar, RFA is in need of your support to help foster the aspiring, underrepresented youth of tomorrow and many years to come. What would your father say seeing all those pilots from the Red Tail Academy here up in the skies right now? Be the best you can be. Remember who you are and who you're representing because these young people are representing the Tuskegee Airmen. Please support the Red Tail Flight Academy's effort to diversify the sky. Click the QR code on the screen to donate today.